Hey makers, this is Truveen and I welcome you all to my Power BI Beginner Step by Step Tutorial Series. You are watching 16th episode of this series and today I am going to talk about how you can build dashboard inside the world of Power BI. So in our previous episode, we published our report to the workspace. Now after publishing the report at the workspace level, sometimes there is a need to create the dashboard as well. So first of all, let's see the overall thing with the practical example. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me over there. So without further delay, let's get started. So here I am on my machine and this is the Power BI report that we have published during our previous session. And this is the workspace that we are having our Power BI that Power Platform Trainings Sales Team Workspace. And this is the report that we published. Now, first of all, let me explain you the concept of dashboard. So what is dashboard inside the world of Power BI? So many times, you know, there is a need that, okay, in my Power BI report, I have six different pages at this point. Okay. Now I need one summary page where main, main important visualization has been pinned over there and show me as an overall summary. So at the time, I can build up the dashboard over here. Remember one thing, dashboard is only be created after you publish the report. Without report, dashboard is something which you can't be able to create it out. Remember one thing over here. Again, second difference is dashboard can only be created into Power BI service. Dashboard can't be created into Power BI desktop. And dashboard is a workspace level feature. Remember these points over here. All right. Now, let's see how to build a dashboard. So to build the dashboard, whichever report that you have published in your Power BI service, you need to pin appropriate visuals over here. So let's say for an example, this is one of the important visual on my machine called sum of revenue by category. Okay. And let's say for an example, you want that as a summary of your report. So whenever you hover on your Power BI report over here, you know, at the time if you observe this section is highlighted over there. Okay. Over there, there is an option available called pin visualization. So if you look at this, this type of pin is available over here. Click on that. As soon as you click on pin visual over here, it is just opening you the option to pin the dashboard. Now, let's say for an example, if you are not having any dashboard created yet, it is just showing you the option to create a new dashboard over here. Let's provide appropriate name over here. So I'm just providing name here is sales teams highlights and click on pin. And basically this is creating a dashboard for you. Now you can see that as soon as it pin, it will show you here pin to dashboard. And over here, you can simply clicking on go to dashboard and you will be able to see the dashboard or you can simply go to your workspace and as soon as you open your workspace, you can able to see this dashboard has been created for you. And when you click on that, this is how your dashboard looks like. Okay. So one visualization is you are able to see here. Even if you just want to make it small, you can just make it small like this. Okay. And one more thing as well, like if you are clicking on your any visualization from your dashboard, basically it will navigate you to the report. So dashboard is ultimately pointing to your report at the end and show you, you can see the detailing around that. Okay. Similar way, let's say for an example, let me pin some more visualization on my dashboard. So let's say I just pin this one on my dashboard. So it is just showing me on the home page. Similar way, I'm just thinking this is also which is important for me. So I'm just clicking on here as well, like pin visual. And as soon as you click on that, this time it will show you that, okay, you want to add into existing dashboard or new dashboard. So I will pick up this type existing dashboard because one dashboard I already created for myself. So I am just selecting the existing dashboard from here and clicking on pin. And as soon as you do that, you can see that it is just showing me that pin to the dashboard and you can just click on go to dashboard or let's say if you want to create mobile layout for it, you can do that as well. Okay. And let me just go to my workspace over here. So I'm just going to the workspace and clicking on dashboard over here. And you can see this is the dashboard looks like, you know, even if you want to make it big, you can just make it like this. 
okay so all the high level thing you are able to see here okay now let me click on this so it will just redirect me to the report again now let's say from other page like let's say this is the uh one of the visualization we uh, this is the custom visual right and it was a paid one so it is just showing me that get a license okay but let's say for an example uh from third page probably i need this one to be pinned so i'm just pin this visual over there so it will just pin that as well and if you click on create mobile layout it will just show you like okay at the same uh, dashboard if you want to see in the mobile how you want to have it like that so there is an option for the mobile layout as well and for web layout this is how it looks like for you and when you click on that it will look like this okay and let's say for an example uh, over here from this particular report you want this to be pinned so you can just pin this out over here and pin to that particular dashboard okay or let's say if you want to pin this visualization from page number 1 you can just pin that over here okay and now when you look at the dashboard this is how the final layout of your dashboard looks like you can arrange it over here depending on your need and this is how it looks like again this is very very important thing it provide you so many different feature as well like you can ask the question on your data as well so you can just uh ask the question that okay what is your yoy growth and just hit enter and basically it will just show you uh the data as well so q and a support is there okay or let's say for an example even in the dashboard let's say when you click on edit over here there is an option called add a tile and over here let's say if you just want to add any web url or any kind of images or let's say if you want to embed any kind of video over here okay you can just choose the appropriate option over here and it will just allow you that thing over here so when you select image you can just provide any image url or image and you can upload it over here okay so this is how the dashboard looks like over here all right sometimes you know in the world of power bi um if you have more reports and you know from more reports you just want to create one central dashboard you can simply utilize this particular feature so it's like a summary so let's say for an example the the real purpose come up into picture that okay uh, i i have 10 pages in my one report or i have multiple reports with so many pages but at the executive level maybe i just wanted to see the overall summary over here i can build up this kind of dashboard for myself and let's say when i want to go more into detail i can simply click up uh, click on any particular visualization and it will just redirect me to that report so it's like a high level thing it's similar like you know how in your uh, when you are when you are reading any book and let's say you are having so many chapters okay and you know from those chapters few things are important so you know you just highlight it out and probably that highlight is something you are just adding as you know uh, some of your uh, index or maybe you just tick mark those pages and you know when you when you when your exam is near you just read that pages and you know when you uh, and it will directly uh, you know uh, redirect you to that page so you know it's like an index of your overall report that what is important and that's something which you wanted to uh, show to your business that's something you can consider as a dashboard so now you understand this two terminology what is report and dashboard never ever say in the power bi world that create a dashboard dashboard means the one that i have shown you right it's very basic but report it is providing at the very high level picture so many time when your customer is saying to you create a power bi dashboard for me sometimes customer don't understand that particular terminology but now as a power bi developer you need you understand at least with this training that what is report report is this one and dashboard is you just pin that thing and that will show your on your page that is called as a uh, dashboard okay so that's pretty much i wanted to talk about uh, the dashboard inside the world of power bi it's pretty simple easy and straight forward okay and the difference between report and dashboard as well i told you over here all right so that's it for this particular episode hope this video is helping you and values your time if so if you are still watching so far please uh, comment out over here that okay you reach up to this point so at least i know that how many of you are reaching to up to that this particular episode or enjoying this series or maybe you just bored in the in between and maybe you just dropped off i just wanted to uh, hear you guys from the comment section so please 
fill out the comment section over here if you are watching so far for this particular episode all right so that's it for today if you are first time to my channel make sure you thumbs up subscribe my channel and if you are looking for any more premium training or uh, any paid trainings always look out the website all the links are available in the description box with that known this is rubin signing off see you in the next episode with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye